Hey guys. This morning, watching my Saturday, Sunday morning cartoons. I love the DVR. And Mr. Uh, Edwin Hubble had to go and make a breakfast request. Jerk that he is. Excruciating, overbearing for my person that he is. Yeah, I want what's basically a traditional kind of Boy Scout camp out dish. Breakfast, skillet of uh, eggs, and potatoes, and peppers, and sausage, and maybe a lot of calories for a busy day. It's pretty tasty, but the coffee hasn't metabolized yet. So just give me a moment. So, we got what we need here, it's pretty simple, uh, eggs, obviously, potato, that's a big one, bell peppers, and some Italian sausage. So, since it's pretty simple, uh, it doesn't need to do anything too complex here, but to make it better, we're uh, I'm gonna watch the order we do it in. Let me see what I mean here in a second. Alright, now I have taken the liberty of washing this potato up. Like you should wash all your produce, and we're just gonna chop it up now. Dice it into kind of sort of cubes. Take a stack here. Carefully cut through. And then one more time. And it'll lay down. Now rough chop into cubes. Rough chop the kind of spears created. This does not have to be neat. Obviously, Edwin will need adult supervision. Lots of it. Now we got the bowl full of potato cubes. I'm going to soak these in cold water. Why are we going to do that? Because it helps create a starch kind of coating around the outside of the cut potatoes. This is what you do to make really good french fries, get them nice and crispy. Uh, and since that's what I want for these potatoes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to soak while we get the rest of the other stuff ready. The coffee's starting to work. Ah. Alright, if you are comfortable enough in your knife skills, this is how I deal with bell pepper. Take kind of a paring knife, kind of short. Cut around the top. Carefully. Nice and slow. Alright, see so now, now the top is kind of done. Pops right out. Alright, get some running water. Get some of your fingers. You come in there and break up the membrane. It's running along in the top there. Break it up until all the seeds are kind of hanging out. Get down in there. Pick up all the membranes inside. While the water is flooding, and flushing it out. This makes it a lot easier to peel off all the seeds you want to get out, but they just make a mess all over your counter. Alright, now our peppers are as hollow as Edwin's skull. I have made a cut in there, just one cut down the side. Just open it up, clear out any other 
membrane left in there and we're gonna cut these kind of into rough cubes as well first the julienne the opened up pepper and then I turn julienne peppers the other way 90 degrees so that I can just cut down the strips and make little bite-sized pieces all right we've cut up both peppers no deal with the sausages so what we're going to do here I don't want to cook the entire sausage what I want to do is take my knife and kind of gently make a slit down Let's see what I'm doing here making making a slit in the casing so that I can open it up I'm basically unzipping it and you got to adjust the solder to me all right right about now I want and drain the potatoes in the colander so they're starting to dry off final preparations got about seven eggs in here I'm gonna whisk these up I just dropped a little bit of water and then let's come up with some parsley and some salt kosher salt or sea salt and we'll whisk them up Good and beaten. Way well, I wish I could be Edwin for making me do this. I've got my cast iron skillet here, just like the way we used to do it in Boy Scouts. Everything was cast iron. Set it to medium heat. I'm gonna drop a little bit of oil. Make it get hot. I'm cooking the sausage first. All right, the sausage. I mean the pan. It's good, it's morning still. The pan is good and hot after a few minutes of warming up the oil. We're going to add the sausage. That uh, uncased sausage meat. And let that cook, and that's going to do what's called rendering the fat out. I do this a lot with bacon. You cook the fatty meat first and it gives up its fat see I'm breaking it up here as it's cooking it gives up its fat as it cooks that fat's going to help us cook the vegetables as I said, this is for high energy, high calories this is not a weight loss food alright, chunks of sausage are thin and brown and crispy they have off a good bit of their uh, fat to cook with so I'm going to get the potatoes from the colander I need to have let off a nice starchy barrier coating that'll crisp up. And it's just gonna combine them. If they need more oil anyway, you can always add more oil. Still on medium heat here. Alright, the potatoes have cooked up nicely. I can certainly smell them. Smell good. I'm going to add the peppers now. And these are going to give off quite a bit of steam and moisture. And that's why we're adding them now, because we're going to be able to get the other stuff basically fried. We're going to have all that liquid around. So that's why we put them in after we do the meat and the potatoes. These are just going to get softened. Time is sort of sauteed. And the rest of the stuff. Still on medium heat. Staying pretty consistent. Just mix them up. Let that cook for a bit. Alright, I've tasted this. It needs a little bit more salt. Maybe some pepper. Warm right over top. And 
got them worked in there. Let's keep moving them around, maybe turn up the heat just a little bit. Move them around and just kind of form scrambled eggs around all that other good stuff you cooked. Alright, and I'll cook the heat because this is basically a good scrambled egg consistency for my taste. Uh, you want to just cook it for however many minutes it takes to and make the consistency you like for your eggs. Uh, keeping safe, of course, you want to kill that salmonella or whatnot. Uh, make sure you taste as you go. That's pretty good. Alright, so I've Give myself up a good hearty portion here, since I'll be running today. Hearty portion, but none for Edwin, because he's a punk. And this delicious. I'll have to add a little extra pepper on top. So back to enjoying this. And my coffee. And my cartoons. We'll start making something out of this morning after all. So remember, prep all your stuff. Cook the sausage first, then the potatoes, and the peppers, and the eggs. Season the salt and pepper, a little parsley. Cut yourself a fine breakfast for a full day. So thankfully that's the end of this request, hope you all enjoyed.